let's proceed from where we left. So we said you want to calculate the total from the source. You want to calculate the total current drawn from the source. And we know that we can only calculate current from a source if we know the total resistance of the circuit so that we can use force law for that. So in this example, we want to pick a section which we convert either from star to delta or from delta to star. So in the previous session, I asked you to check which connection you can choose so that you can make the conversion. So as we can see, let's just go you can see that this combination is a delta combination, right? So you could use that for your analysis. This combination again is a delta combination, which you can again you could use for your, for your analysis. And then this one again is a delta combination which you can use in your analysis. But also, you realize that there is a star connection again, which you can also use in your analysis. So as you can see, you have many choices to make. But before you finalize on a choice to make, when you choose to make a conversion, redraw the circuit and see if it will give you a way of simplifying the circuit in terms of series or parallel combinations. That is the most important thing to take note of. Otherwise, getting conversion will just make you go in, in circles. Uh, someone with the name never they Audio. I've been muting our audio since the beginning of the session. If you don't mute it now, I will remove you from the meeting because it's making a lot of disturbances there. Thank you. Okay, so I just show you the different parts which you can actually convert so that you can simplify the circuit right so in this case i've chosen to convert the star which is 999 into a delta combination right so you can mark a point say point a point b or point c which you will now use for your analysis so let's say this is a this is B and this is point C. So what you are saying is I can convert a delta combination of three resistors. You can choose to give them any name that you want, R1, R2, R3, doesn't matter. R2 and R3. Right. Now, this is a star to delta conversion. So, remember we said when it says star to delta conversion, the resistor value is given by the combination of R1, R2 plus R2, R3, plus R3, R1, divided by the, the resistor opposite that, that resistance. But then if you look at it this way, we are saying, let's say R1 is equal to R A, R B, 
and is that in but if R A is if R A is equal to R B, then this will give you what R squared, right? Then times three over the resistor, which is opposite. If the data opposite is again R A or R B or R C and is equal to R, then it will be R squared times three over that R and that. So you will get that it is three times R. So in a special um, case where the resistances in the star connection have the same value, the delta resistance is just three times the star resistance. You can do the same for delta to star conversion, right? Delta to star conversion, we say product of the two, that is R squared over sum of O, which is three R, and that means for a delta to a star, it will be R over R over three. You can do that with any of those resistors. But anyway, let's proceed with what we are dealing with here. So you can see that those things you don't have to memorize, but just by just redrawing, like I said, it's easier to visualize when you convert the star to a Y and the delta to a triangle, then you can actually see how the resistors are calculated using those formula, like the way I've illustrated it on that, on that point. So that's why in our circuit, you realize that the delta resistances are all equal to 27. The delta resistances are all equal to 27. Right. Then after that, we reanalyze the circuit which comes out. In this case, you realize that this is point A, this is point B, and this is point C. So as you can see, the six and the 27 are in parallel, the six and the 27 are in parallel, the six and the 27 are in, in parallel. You should see that because there's a common point there for those resistors. So they are, in, they are in parallel. So you can now combine those resistors in parallel, product over, over sum, right? So those in parallel, this and that, in parallel, this and that, in parallel, this and that, in parallel, six in parallel with 27 product over, over sum. But then after that, you come out with a, a new circuit, right? Then the new circuit now will show you that this combination becomes a series combination in parallel with, with that. So we have six in parallel with 27, in parallel with 6 and 27, plus 6 and 27. So this is a series combination in parallel with that, and you get your 3.27. Now, you might notice that in the process of simplifying our calculations, we might end up forgetting what is our focus. So you have to go back again and check the question. Yes, you've calculated the RRT, but this person says find the current drawn from the source. So what it simply means now is that you have to now say E over RRT to get the total current drawn from the, from the source. And IT becomes about 1.83 is the total current drawn from the, from the source. I'm sure we are, we are following that up to this point. Right. So,
We again want to see that is what we concluded. We are just revisiting so that you can see how it works. But bear in mind that I will not ask you to show the proof of the of the conversion. You just use the formula as they are. So delta to star product of two connected to the same point with the resistance divided by the sum of the, of the resistances, right? Then start to delta product of the combinations of the resistors in twos added together divided by the resistor connected opposite that resistance. That is if you redraw the way I showed you when I was explaining, right? So a delta section of letters is given in the figure. Convert this in equivalent star section. So like I said, for easy visualization, you could, you could redraw this into a, into a triangle. Remembering your, your terminals. So I would draw this as a triangle. Like that, right. Then I still have my point C, my point A and my point B. Again, we'll come back to the diagram. What is between C and B? C and B, I have three ohms. Between C and A, C and A, I have nine ohms. Then between B and A, between B and the A, I have six ohms. This is still the same, the same combination. Then after that, I want to convert to, I want to convert to star. So I draw the star inside the, the delta. You draw the star inside the delta. So you are converting from star to delta, you draw the delta, Excuse me, don't know what I'm going to do. Let me start from that point. So I'm saying, if, I, if I'm converting to a, to a delta, I draw the delta outside the, the star connection and so on. So now I have my combination there. Now RC is between, is connected to the point number C. So this is RC. RB is connected to point B. So this is my RB. And RA is connected to point A. This is RA. Right? Then you can do your calculations now. RC does nine by three over the sum of that. So RC will be equal to 27 over, over 18. That's 1.5. Then RB, RB is here. So it's six times that, that's 18 divided by 18, that's one. Then your RA is nine times 10, that's 54 divided by 18, that's your three. So that's a simple way of converting from star to delta. Remember, in the exams, I don't give you an open-ended circuit like this. So this is just for you to practice. Otherwise, it comes as what I showed you in the previous uh, lectures. Right. Something like that. So the figure shows a network. The number on each branch represents the value of the distance in ohms. Find the distance between points E and F. 
So I pick point E and point F. That is where I have to calculate the total resistance. So you put that in mind. Now, when you are simplifying a circuit, you start from the far end of the terminals. So if the terminals are to the left, you start from the right. If the terminals are to the right, you start from the left. If the terminals are uh, on the bottom side, you start from the top. You are at the top, you start from the, from the bottom side. Basically, how we deal with this. Now, what finds the total resistance that that circuit? Can you read that one? You don't need that noise, please. Why is it so difficult for you to mute your, your audios? You don't want to hear what you are doing at the present moment. When you have to talk, I will have to tell you. Okay. So I was saying, we want to simplify our, our circuit. So we have to identify a star or a delta connection. Then we simplify it and move until we get the total resistance RT between E and, and F. Ma, all right. So, That's the easier way of dealing with people who make noise. I just removed you from the meeting. Right. So I was about to explain how we then simplify this kind of situation. So for example, let's say I choose to simplify this delta combination. I will have to redraw the, the resultant star circuit inside that, that box. So what it means is after simplifying, this disappears, this disappears, and that also disappears. Then you see that this resistor and that will be in series, this and that will be in series, this and that will be in series. So it would be a good choice to make. Then after that, you can proceed to doing the, the simplification, right? So if you choose a point to simplify, the best thing to do is for you to test if it will simplify the, the circuit at all, right? So in that case, my resistors becomes A, B, and C. And I find a value for resistors A, B, and C using the same way. So my A becomes two, B becomes two over, uh, B becomes one and C becomes two over three. Then I'll see that these two are now in series, these two are now in series, these two are now in, in series. Then I will, I will simplify. They give me eight, four and, and seven, right? They give me four and, and seven. Then again, I see, can I still simplify that? I can simplify this star into a delta. If I redraw, they will give me those combinations in, in parallel. And again, I move like that. Bear in mind that I still want to calculate the returns between E and, and F. So eight will add to that and they will be in parallel with 
the eight and your anger becomes 5.6, you can try that at your own pace by choosing another combination to simplify before you, you proceed. Right. Then in that example, we want to calculate the current drawn from the five volt source. So that is what we need. And again, we want to get the current from there. Right? So our first point of call will be to find a position which we can simplify. That's the first point of call. So if you look at this, this is a, a delta combination. This again is a delta combination. And this is a star combination. You can choose any one to, to simplify, right? So I chose to simplify the star first to get R1, R2, and R3. And I realized that it will simplify my second was This will go in series parallel with that. And this will go in parallel with, with that. So I proceed and I simplify. And I get the values is 8, 8, and 16 over 3. Then after that, the next thing would be to see if I can simplify here, I can put these two in parallel and I can put these two in parallel and simplify, right? Then after that, to go back, we realize that these two can be combined because they have a common point that. So this resistor, the resulting resistance will be in series with that resulting resistance and you get that combination. These two in series will now be in parallel with, with that. Right, so you have a parallel combination of these two. Then after combining those, they'll be in series with, with that one and you get your total resistance. They say, they say over 15. But remember the question says, calculate the current drawn from the five volt source. So my next move now, would be to use Ohm's law and calculate the current and you get your 0 0.974 amperes as the current drawn from the source. So take note of this. During a network reduction or simplification process, some points in the original network are lost, right? So if you are converting from star to delta, you realize that the star point or the common point disappears. Right? But if you are converting from delta to star, you realize that you add a, a point. So K must be taken during this process that no point of ultimate irrelevance is lost. So if you see a point, maybe where you have to calculate a voltage or a current, make sure you don't lose that point. Make sure you don't lose that point. So in your simplification, make sure that point doesn't go away. So we've done star delta transformation. We have used the concept of equivalence to calculate the equivalent resistances when you are converting from delta to star and from star to, to delta. Then we've done star delta and delta to star conversion. Then that's all that we, we have. So that brings us to the end of this lecture. We can go and try those examples and any other examples, then we can look at the tutorials at a later side. Thank you.